Hello, my lovely Aquarius, and welcome to your general weekly reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and it does make a huge difference to me, so I would appreciate that. Uh, also, don't forget to hit your notification bell so you don't miss any future readings, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, we will go ahead and get in here. We will use a typical deck to do your past, present, and future cards for this week. We will also use another typical tarot deck for your challenge card. We will use three oracle decks to uh, clarify further, and then we'll go back to the typical tarot deck for uh, a last clarification towards the end. So let's go ahead and get started, see what we're looking at here for you. Hopefully you're having a great week. And we have, all right, big cards here. All right, so we have Queen of Swords energy starting off. So I feel like over the past uh, little bit here, time is fluid in tarot, so kind of take that um, as it kind of flows for you personally. But I do feel like the Queen of Swords here is letting me know that you've kind of really made a shift to kind of taking back some control in your life. So I do feel like for a lot of you, maybe the past, you know, several months, past year, has really been a lot about kind of challenges for you as far as, you know, feeling like you really don't have control over what you want, right? So that could be that you're in a relationship where you felt like you were dominated by somebody and the fact that, you know, they kind of, kind of took advantage of you in some, you know, some sense of the word. They were controlling, they were, you know, domineering, they didn't put as much, you know, consideration into your feelings as maybe you did theirs. Um, same thing with those of you who maybe felt this at work instead. Maybe you felt like you were kind of used and abused at work. You know, you did all the work and got none of the credit. They, you know, dumped all the work on you and then kind of left you hanging as far as, hey, I was promised a raise. Hey, I was promised a promotion, but passed over, passed over, passed over, but I'm doing all the work. You know, things like that where you kind of felt like, I'm just not really getting the, the just do that I deserve, right? So I don't feel like I'm in enough control, right? Um, I'm just kind of going through the motions. Um, and so I feel like for whatever reason, whether you've made a shift or a change, whether you've left those relationships, whether you've left that job or whether you've really stood up for yourself um, and kind of made a shift there, maybe got that promotion, maybe gave an ultimatum and got some resolution or just got out and decided, you know what, I don't need this crap. I deserve better and I'm going to move on and do something better because I am seeing a lot of that too. A lot of people, um, I'm hearing from a lot of people, I'm seeing that with a lot of people, uh, their readings, that people are making a lot of changes and a lot of shifts to be more in control of themselves, more in control of what they want, more like I'm tired of wasted time, right? I'm going to do what I want to do. And so that could be the case here. Maybe you have decided I'm just, I'm sick and tired and fed up and I want to do something that I want to do. And I don't care if it makes sense or not. Like, I don't care if you think it is a good decision, right? I don't care if you think that I shouldn't go try to be uh, and I always, I always say a snow cone salesman in Alaska, like, because it's just kind of an odd job, right? Um, when I'm, you know, a really high paid, you know, corporate exec, it makes me happy and I'm going to do it, right? So I feel like you've kind of made that shift, whether it be mentally or actually started to be physically, you know, doing it. You've pulled the trigger and you are making that shift. Um, but I do feel like you've got that, right? You are pushing forward as a whole new version of yourself, a stronger, more in control version. And you are like really not listening to or caring what other people are saying about it. You're like, I'm living for me, you know? Uh, you know, it's kind of like, if you're not my mama and you don't pay my bills, I really don't care what you have to say. <laughs> and I feel like good for you because I feel like kind of that's how you're living it. And it's really working for you as you go forward because I see, you know, this star card is letting me know that you really are kind of dabbling in multiple aspects of life, right? You know, like in the star card where they're pouring out on both sides, I feel like you're able to kind of feel like you can take creative license more so. You know, maybe before part of the controlling issue there too, if you were 
constantly at work and that had become so much of your life. Or you were in a relationship where you didn't feel like you could really have a lot of friends or go out and do a lot of things because everything was like that. Your relationship that was like really all you're allowed to have without a drama situation. You know, I feel like now you feel like you're able to kind of be a multi-sided human, right? And you feel like, oh, right? <laughs> the star of the show. Because now you can have a relationship, you know, even if it's not anything serious, maybe you're just enjoying, you know, dating. You know, you could have a job that you're not so tied to that it's life altering, you know, life shattering and consumes every second of your life. Um, you just feel like you can have hobbies, you can do things, you just feel like you can breathe. You know, I feel like you are really starting to finally feel that way a little bit. And that is fantastic for you, okay? That's making all the difference in the world, I think, for you. And the more that you come into that, the better it's going to be, okay? Um, but down here, I do see this Eight of Swords, and I feel like with this, my only concern, okay, is that because you are a person who has been in a situation where you are, you've been controlled, I do feel that you have some sort of control, whether it was intentional or whether it was you just got so wrapped up into things at work or whatever, and you were so like hyper-focused that you may tend to fall back into those patterns, okay? You may be one that is a person who does get hyper-focused. You do, maybe you are a little bit of a perfectionist on things. You may be a person who, because you came out of something that was perhaps toxic, that you are so drawn to something that's not feeling toxic that you almost over attached to it, okay? And, you know, that could be almost toxic in itself. So it's kind of like a trauma bond, but kind of in a, a different way. Uh, so I have, you know, I have some concern with this card that you may fall into a pattern where because you are enjoying this newfound freedom that you won't know how to handle it, right? Maybe you've been without that newfound freedom for so long and it's almost like, you know, you're a kid in a candy store who's never been allowed to have candy and you eat so much, you make yourself sick, right? So it's kind of like that, right? So you get out there and you are finally able to date people and have a job that you like because they're not using and abusing you and you're able to have friends but now you're so like addicted to that that you're like stressed out if the friends don't call you all the time because you don't really know how to have friends and now you're like I don't really know what to do when I'm not working and I don't really know what to do with a person who isn't watching every move I make why don't they watch every move I make I'm stressed out because they should be Concerned? Do they not love me if they're not watching every move I make? And it's all part of that kind of trauma situation. So with this, I would just caution that if you have come out of a situation like that, you may want to kind of just slowly get into these different situations as far as like relationships and jobs and things like that. But also you might want to look into counseling. I am not a psychiatrist by any means, but I do know I have been through a PTSD uh, narcissistic relationship myself and I have gone to counseling. <laughs> so um, from the experience of that side, I can say that that is helpful because you do suffer from that and you can come out to this beautiful, wonderful new world and then not know how to process it, right? <laughs> and you're like, holy cow. And you start kind of screwing up every relationship that you touch. You start, you know, like overreacting at jobs. You're like the only one there at six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. You're like, why isn't anybody else here working? We need to be working, working, working. And you're like, this shouldn't be my life, right? <laughs> but that's all you've ever known, right? So depending on what your kind of life past or controlled obsession had been, um, you can start feeling tied 
to the fact that you're not tied to anything, if that makes sense. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's, it's a thing. Okay. So really and truly, um, I would just say, take it easy, take it easy on yourself. That's very important. And just let yourself breathe. Know that it is okay to not have to be controlled by anything and to not be tied by anything except what you want to do and what you enjoy doing and taking care of yourself and self-love. Sometimes it is okay, which was very hard for me to understand, to do nothing sometimes, to just sit on a couch and watch TV. Sometimes that is okay. We have a jumper here. So we're going to use this as your challenge card and see what it says. We have the three of wands and I think that is going to be your biggest challenge. To be honest with you, I can't think of a better card for you. Surveying what to do with your life is the biggest challenge. You have broken free. You have taken back your life. You've taken control. That is a step that so many people who get in those types of habits, those types of relationships, those types of situations don't ever get to do, right? So you are already doing amazing things for yourself. You're already making huge steps, progress, amazing. So proud of you, okay? But surveying what you wanna do once you start getting out there, right? The first feeling is you feel like a star because you're doing all those things. The second feeling is, oh my gosh, what now, right? And so many of you may already be at that step, right? You might be at the, this is so awesome. Okay, but what now? Because there's that moment where all of a sudden you don't have somebody standing over you telling you, cracking the whip to work or asking where you've been every five seconds of the day at home or you can't get a hold of one of your friends and you're expecting like, why, why isn't somebody watching every move I'm making every second of the day? <laughs> what now? <laughs> and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm alone. What do I do? I've never been alone for five seconds without somebody telling me I need to be doing this, 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 this and checking in. <laughs> so this can be a very scary feeling for people who've been through that, okay? I know this from personal experience. Um, what I would say is in times like these, this is when counseling can help, meditation can help, sometimes just filling it with things that are purposeless and enjoyable can help. My psychiatrist told me to find a hobby that took my mind off things that I could immerse myself in that had zero ad vow and just do it. And I started watching Jeffree Star makeup videos and this was like 15 years ago. And now I watch whenever I get stressed, whenever I get nervous, whenever I need to like take my mind off the fact that I'm doing nothing, I have downtime, my kids are both at soccer or lacrosse practice or whatever, and I have nothing I need to be doing right that second and nobody's checking on me anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll watch a makeup review on YouTube and I just lose myself in that like makeup review, like for no reason. So whatever it is that is this meaningless that you find joy in, you know what? You can watch this video over and over. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but seriously, you know, be okay with doing nothing sometimes, okay? Because this is going to be a major challenge for you. And I'm saying that from experience, not from any medical position at all, please. Um, other than what my doctor told me, which was, you know, just a doctor that told me that personally, my experience, not yours. We all have different paths, okay? So disclaimer there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get you a psychic energy card on your queen of swords, because again, I am extremely proud of you for already breaking the cycle and getting out of it, that is always the first step that you recognized you weren't happy and you wanted more and that you've removed yourself from that. So that is huge. So many people can't even do that. And crown chakra. Oh, nope. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Woo! First card, not sticking together cards. I have a nightmare today. It was power. And this is my favorite card in this entire deck because hello, I love lions. And this is a half person half lion he looks super wise and it is just sheer power and number eight infinity sign sideways obviously that is a fantastic money card as well money number as well but also power and, and that is exactly what you have okay you have strength 
you don't even know. You have power you don't even know just by making it out, just by walking away, just by taking back control of your life and saying, I deserve more. I want more. I am taking more just by doing that. Okay. Even if you don't have a plan in place, even if you don't know what to do with yourself, even if you don't know how to process it, I don't care. Just doing that you are one of the strongest people out there, right? Because there are so many people who can't do that. They just can't, okay? And you did. So never forget that, all right? Let's get you a moon card down here on this star and three of wands. Um, and again, I do feel like, <laughs> first thing, you're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna see whole new things that you didn't even know were out there people, places, things, options, all kinds of stuff that maybe you really never had time or uh, occasion to see, but then you're going to find that you have some downtime that you don't even know what to do with, right? And this is the void. And this is one of my favorite cards in this deck too. Wow. And the void, if you look, you'll see this person, hopefully you can see that, laying comfortably in this quiet space. And that is exactly what this card is about. This card is about going into a quiet, peaceful, safe place to rest and think okay go in and think about what it is that you need so that you can come out stronger more refreshed and with a better plan in place okay that is exactly what the void is your void is your calm your serenity and your peaceful place that you can go into um you know metaphorically speaking of course um, but if, if you need to put your head under the covers and lay in bed for a day to think about it um, and watch makeup reviews or whatever, YouTube, uh, you know, whatever you need to do to think about what it is you really value, what it is you really want to do with your life, um, you know, as long as you're not regressing, as long as you're not going back to that old pattern, right, to that old pattern of people controlling you and as long as you're progressing, and knowing that you're coming out stronger, this is a beautiful card. You are going to come out even better, right? This is a process of self-love, right? This is taking time for yourself to decide what you need, which is all about taking your power back, right? It's all about putting you first. And I don't feel like you've been able to do that for a long time. I feel like somebody's been putting themselves first, your work, maybe family, maybe significant other, but not you. And this is where you finally get to put harness your power and put yourself first. What do you need? What do you want out of life? And come out and get it, right? So let's see what we can get on a general advice card on this Eight of Swords, okay? Because I do think this is gonna be something where, again, you will have a tendency to, you know, feel kind of bound to that old habit of what you've always done, you know? Constantly having to be watched or controlled or told what to do or, you know, busy, busy, busy or whatever it may be. And I, I think that you'll be able to break that. I think it's a process, okay? But I think you can fix that. So your purpose is personal expansion and that's critical. This is about you, right? So how can you be more intentional with your choices and live with more purpose, right? So this is about making the choices that most benefit you. Again, this is about you. And again, these choices are intentional choices, okay? You're not tied to any choice because you're no longer tied to that job. You're no longer tied to that business. You're no longer tied to the rules that maybe were set in place by your company. You've got to work your butt off. Your significant other, you've got to check in every five minutes. You don't have, you're not allowed to have certain friends. You're not allowed to go certain places, do certain things. You know, any of those kinds of things that maybe you went through, you're no longer bound by that. You're expanded. You can do whatever you want with your life. And that includes nothing at all sometimes, right? You are not limited anymore. You have already made that decision when you came out swinging as the queen of swords. When you said, look, I'm boss of my life. I control what happens to me, right? I hold the power in my life. 
I just need to decide what I want to do with it first. Maybe I haven't had a chance to even think about that before, but now I get to. Look at it as an opportunity, not a limitation. An opportunity to expand, okay? And you will be amazed at the things that you can decide that you might want to do. You may want to go back to school. You may want to learn something new. Lord knows, I'm on my New Year's resolution is to take Duolingo for 20 minutes every day. Why I need to learn ridiculous new languages right now at this age when I took them in college and nonsense and hated it then, I don't know. But it seemed like the thing to do, right? And I can, so I am. <laughs> you know, people 90 years old are going back to college. You can do it. Okay, we've got a jumper here. We're gonna pull three of these cards here for um, kind of some general advice and uh, energy vibe here to see what we've got for you. We'll pull a couple more here. See what spirit has to say as you go forward. So we've got the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Moon. And I love these cards for you, right? I love these because, you know, you've got the Ace of Swords energy. This is 100% your energy. You are such a boss. You coming out, this power card, you. You are such a boss. You have no idea. You've just been through it, right? You just haven't had the opportunity to show what a boss you are, but you are going to, right? It's time to put the burdens down. You've been burdened so long. I think you've been contemplating for a long time. People don't just walk out one day. They contemplated it, you know? But on top of that, I think you've been burdened so long by other people's nonsense and trying to do what's right for other people everyone but yourself, right? That their, their burdens are not your burdens. You need to focus on you. Everything here is about harnessing your power to expand your life. If they worried about you as much as you worried about them, you wouldn't feel like this, okay? Remember that. Um, and the moon card, <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty self-explanatory given your situation that you're going to be confused. You're going to feel like you're heading out into the unknown. Of course you are because you are headed out into the unknown. You are literally looking out the abyss right now. That's your challenge. We know this, but it's nothing you can't overcome. I mean, it's so much easier to paint on a blank canvas right? Then to have to take a terrible painting and turn it into something fantastic, right? Would you want to do that? No. You don't want to have to kind of fix all the world's problems. You want to be able to start fresh. And you are. You get to. So, yeah. You may feel like you're going out to the unknown. You may feel like you are going out there with blinders on and you have no clue what you want to do, but that's just nothing but time and opportunity. That's just nothing but a, a blank slate for you to create anything you want on, right? Because you are strong, you are powerful, you are obviously smart enough to recognize when you're happy and when you're not and get the heck out. And uh, expansion's the name of your game. So you've got this 180%. I have nothing but faith in you right now. So go big or go home, right? And don't go home because <laughs> you're going big. So anyway, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And hopefully I will see you back super, super soon. I would love to see what you're doing with all this, what your plans are. So comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.